Hi everyone, hope you're good. So today we continue with my empty series and today we take a deeper dive or at least a closer look into the products that I've tried from The Ordinary and basically talking through whether or not I would actually recommend them. So the first product I want to talk about is the most popular product, um, one of the most popular products from the brand and that is their niacinamide. So the Ordinary Niacinamide, it comes in a 10% um, concentration and it comes with 1% zinc. And it says this is a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. So niacinamide is a, kind of like an all-rounder, kind of like a jack of all trades type serum that you would expect to help you with basically the most basic in terms of um, skincare needs. So if you're oily, it helps you manage your sebum if you have blemishes it helps fade those over time it helps brighten skin as a result and it's just good for um, retexturizing skin as well so it's kind of like an all-rounder in terms of what it can do for your skin but like I said it's a jack of all trades so therefore it's a master of none in terms of it being a superstar or, or for it to be in terms of it being a product that's really really good in one particular area it's not that so that's probably the only thing I'd say about niacinamide but again because it is so good across the board it also, it's also very good for all skin types so um, it's one of those non-irritating products so you either find that this does nothing for your skin or that it's really really good for your skin but you definitely won't be in the camp of saying it irritated your skin unless you mixed it with something else that it shouldn't have been mixed with so I actually have a up and down relationship or mixed feelings in terms of using this product I with my first First two vials that I used. Sorry, this is what it looks like by the way. So with the first two vials that I used, I didn't really feel like I felt any particular difference in the texture of my skin. Um, I actually stopped using it for a good few months and I just, you know, continued using other products. In fact, I continued using their vitamin C because I'd heard such good things about their vitamin C as much as I had about their niacinamide solution. So I thought, you know, let me just give niacinamide a rest. I wasn't really seeing it, um, you know, doing some of the things that claims or oh, actually one of the other claims is that it also helps reduce pore size and some people actually swear by this but for me even though I have large pores on this side of my cheek um, I didn't really see the pore size reducing over a couple of months so um, I definitely stuck with this I used the whole thing up and I also went and bought two more in the space of time that I have used it so this is my second and third bottle and um like I said, I've used it on and off. Um, I continue to use it in my current skincare routine now, actually. But um, I did go through a period where I didn't really feel like I wanted to. And I thought, you know, let me just try it again at least. Even if I can't see the benefits, at least I know it's working and doing something for my skin. And if it also promises to reduce sebum during the day, that's something that I will take. So I can't necessarily say that I can vouch for its efficacy or um, how, you know, exactly it's effective. It's, it's, it's effectiveness but um, because it's such a well trusted product that's promised to do good for your skin whether or not you can actually see it I will continue using it just for that but in terms of it um, having a visible impact on my skin I can't say that I've actually experienced that but I will continue using it because it's supposed to be good for my skin if that makes sense so the next products I also tried or at least one of the other popular products that nearly broke the internet was the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid Serum this bottle is a bit manky so excuse me so this is a hyaluronic acid serum plus B5 and it's hyaluronic acid at 2%. And again, it's just a good humectant in terms of being able to attract moisture and trap moisture in the skin. I'm sure you've heard um, a thousand times that it attracts more than, is it a thousand times its weight in um, water? So again, it's going to have the effect on your skin when you apply it. And the best way if you don't know to apply hyaluronic acid is to apply it to damp skin so then it's already got that moisture because what sometimes you can find is that it's obviously working hard to get the moisture from the air and if you happen if you happen to be in, in a drier climate and you put hyaluronic acid on your skin it will draw moisture from within the skin so it can work the other way as well so just be careful in terms of where you're using it the best way to use it is that to apply on damp skin or spray some water on your skin as well if you have like one of those Evian spray cans spray that on your skin after you apply this just so it has something to work with but it's just a good all-rounder um, 
uh, what do you call it, serum that helps plump up your skin. It will not, it doesn't have any active ingredients in terms of reversing the signs of aging. So you find a lot of people tend to promise this or some brands might even try and promise that. It's not. It's just a humectant that makes your skin feel plumper by attracting more water. But um, apart from, in terms of my experience with it, I wasn't necessarily attached to this because one, it's a small product and because I used it so much, I was always on the hunt for bigger products for the same amount in terms of value. So I actually found other hyaluronic acid serums, but I'm not necessarily tied to the hip with this at all. I used it. I liked it. Oh, I'm holding the wrong one here. I used it and I liked it, but um, I'm not going to buy the hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary again. Not because I have anything against the product itself, but for the money that I'm paying, I can get much more um, from other brands. So I want to do that because I'm a value for money type of girl. So um, my battery is blinking. So if it cuts out mid-sentence, apologies, I will resume as soon as possible. So the next product I tried from The Ordinary. So this buffet serum is actually supposed to target um, surface hydration, fine lines, wrinkles, dynamic lines and textural irregularities. Um, it has Metrixol 3000, which is a peptide that's specifically designed to stimulate collagen synthesis, synthesis and skin repair. So... I don't know. I feel, feel like with this particular product, you need to use it for a long period of time to be able to see that. And yeah, for me, I didn't necessarily see it. So because I'm a girl with very, very little patience and because I don't actually have like fine lines and wrinkles, I don't necessarily need this. I just wanted to try to see if it would help with texture on my skin. And I don't think it did. So I think if you have more mature skin and you want like um, more, more, faster results you might want to try this and see if it helps your skin but this isn't something i will be repurchasing next we have one of my favorite products from the ordinary and this is their salicylic acid two percent solution and this is for blemish prone skin so the salicylic acid solution like i said is for um, acne prone skin blemish prone skin if you have acne or like acne scars pimples whiteheads blackheads salicylic acid is very very good for that um, it, help, it works by going into the secondary layer of your skin because salicylic acid is a BHA so B is beta think second second layer of your skin and yeah so it penetrates deeper because it can then work to unclog your pores and loosen up any kind of um, gunk or you know debris wherever it might be um, that's stopping your skin from working at its, at its optimum state that's how salicylic acid works and it just helps to exfoliate from within so it's really really good for unclogging your pores and just really clearing those um the pathway to make sure that you know you are getting fresh air into your skin so i've used this all up and i really really do like it because um it's something that i can use during the day as well so if i have a spot or a, a section of my skin that has you know tiny spots or pimples or whatever i can use this as a spot treatment after i've used like my last skincare product so after the moisturizer i would use this and then wait for this to dry and fully absorb and then go in with my sunscreen so that's how i use this and at night i'll do the same again obviously without sunscreen and it just really really works over a couple of days so for me it doesn't work immediately so like so say over two or three days i will notice a significant significant um, reduction in the size or i would recommend it if you look if you're looking for an affordable um, product to treat your uh, whiteheads, blackheads and just general pimples. It helps with decreasing the size of your um, pimples and spots as well and if you get those little white bumps or just bumps in your skin that don't quite have like aren't ready to pop but they're just there like a rash type of thing. Salicylic acid also helps with that. It's just, it's just good for um, clearing the pores and exfoliating the skin that way. But um, yeah so it's a really good acne product. Next we have um, the Ordinary Vitamin C Suspension 30% in silicone. Again, it's in a similar tube to the um, primer. This is a very jacked up, um, jacked up uh, tube, by the way. And I tried this because I think I tried the initial, the, their first silicone product, which was such a hit and miss product for most people. In fact, a lot of people actually didn't like it. I was one of them so when I tried that I think that's a 10% one I'm not sure um, so when I tried that um, it was just very gritty very oily it took ages to absorb and I remember the first few times I tried it it kind of 
put like my skin was on fire kind of thing it was very very irritating to the skin um, i found that it helped when i put my face in front of a fan and like within two minutes it was fine but again it wasn't something and also over time as well i didn't really feel that effect so my skin got used to it but as I was saying, um, it wasn't something that I would have recommended freely to somebody else um, without a lot of warning, basically. So when they bought this one out, which is meant to be a gentler formula because the silicone is meant to help the vitamin C absorb into your skin a lot more slowly. And it's meant to be a bit, a bit of a better formula. I thought I'd try it and just see if I liked it. Again, when I did apply it to my skin, it kind of just felt a bit slippery because it's almost like applying primer on top of your skin. And it kind of got me a bit confused because of silicone um although it's meant to be although silicone is breathable unlike what most marketing um would make most consumers believe that it's meant to clog your pores and block your skin stop your skin from absorbing products it's actually a breathable product and it's supposed to deliver the vitamin c slowly into your skin that's why it's suspended in silicone but um i again I did find that I love this product. I just felt like if I put this on my skin, because I wanted it to be very close to my skin in my skincare routine, it just meant that other products would take time to absorb. So it was always a question of whether or not I would use this over other products. Because, yeah, so it, it was just one of like a, like a tug of war with me with using this product. Um, for the right person, it's probably a really good product. So if you have very few steps in your skincare routine, and you just want you want to just use this apply a moisturizer and apply an oil maybe and call it a day then this is probably a good product for you but um if you have a few steps in your skincare routine this might not necessarily be the best one to use but speaking of the best one i have two jars of the ordinary um elascorbic acid powder and this is actually my favorite vitamin c product from the ordinary so this is pure elascorbic powder the 30 percent um version in the tube again is elascorbic acid and that is basically the gold standard for vitamin c the only problem with elascorbic acid is that it um is highly unstable especially in a water-based solution so oh no i've just been talking uh, without my mic my gosh Anyway, so the only problem with um, elascorbic powder in its loose form, or at least in this form, is that um, in terms of mixing it with other products, the best product to mix it in is oil, because with water it can be very unstable. So um, that's the only problem with it. But I prefer to use this version of vitamin C because one, it's just such a good fresh products because it's fresh because it's pure vitamin c powder um you can add it into any serum you want and just have a fresh batch of vitamin c that's at its highest potency and it just lasts for ages i love the fact that you get it in this beautiful little jar you get a cute little scoop with it and you're meant to fill this scoop up as well um but i never I think for the first few times I only used half the, half of the scoop for like maybe a month or so and I found that that was plenty for me um so yeah I really really like this I've gone through two of it I'm on my third one this is like the best vitamin c product period out there that you won't hear about on on youtube and I don't know why they don't talk about this maybe I have a feeling a dodgy feeling it might be because people just can't get as much money for this in terms of affiliate links I don't know because you know when a product is this good and you know people know about it but they don't talk about it on their channel it just makes me wonder why but um i don't know this product is really really good you can mix it into anything you can carry it with you and it's a fresh batch of vitamin c is the best thing you can get the best version of vitamin c and when you first use it you might feel like a tingling sensation like when you use this one but within like say two or three goes it's absolutely fine um it doesn't burn your skin like the other one it does and it just it dissolves really well into any serum into any moisturizer um it just dissolves really really well what i tend to use with this though is the um resveratrol and ferulic acid so this is the um, resveratrol three percent and ferulic acid three percent water-free high potency antioxidant formula Resver resveratrol is a really good antioxidant as it says um i don't know too much about it um probably do need to do a bit more research but i did hear about it and i know that it is one of 
of the first like OG antioxidants um, in terms of you know my research anyway that I heard about that I first used so resveratrol um, rather ferulic acid works really well to stabilize vitamin C so you can use these two together and you know maybe add a third serum and that will be your super serum for your face um, and also vitamin C I hope I don't need to say you've probably seen and heard a lot about vitamin C but it's just the great antioxidant um, that boosts um, collagen production it helps brighten your overall skin it's good with um, blemish prone skin in terms of acne um, or like damaged skin it helps just renew the skin cells in terms of regeneration so um, you end up with um, brighter clearer um, plumper skin as well I think it also helps with texture so it's just a good all-rounder products I mean if you use nothing else for your skin use vitamin C um, and all niacinamide sunscreen and a good moisturizer and a good cleanser that's you know kind of like the basics um, so yeah I use the ferulic acid with this just to stabilize the vitamin C and to add additional antioxidant properties um, this I find is a bit oily so if you mix it in with like a water-based serum it helps to dissolve it a bit more it does absorb into the skin really really well I am you still using it because I use it with a vitamin C powder and it's just again it's a good antioxidant um, serum on its own it will give you good results in terms of softening your skin and also um, help you you know fight delay aging because that's the ultimate goal um, the ultimate purpose of, a, of an antioxidant product it stops cell damage basically so this on its own is good but with the vitamin C it's even better because you get the collagen boosting properties of vitamin C with this as well in terms of also stopping um, uh, skin cell uh, degradation or degradation degra yeah, degradation I think that's the word um, yeah lastly one of my favorite products which I didn't exactly like initially um, one of my favorite products is the alpha arbutin 2% plus HA and HA is hyaluronic acid so how alpha arbutin is a really really concentrated serum um, that's known to help brighten um, acne scars I think it works by um, fighting the um, enzyme that actually causes um, darkening of the skin that actually causes hyper hyperpigmentation and it is a very very good targeted product for brightening the skin so I um, came across this I think I was doing some research on just like you know the best products for brightening skin um, acne prone skin or brightening for dealing with hyperpigmentation and alpha arbutin came up because it's one of those safer products in comparison to hydroquinone so hydroquinone is you know very well known very well documented but then you know there's some side effects to long-term use in terms of it potentially um, causing causing I won't say it causes cancer but I mean there might be links to in terms of cancerous growth you know in some individuals um, I'm pretty sure it's not widely um, it's not widely um, occurring but there is a risk of that I think in terms of what I found out anyway but um, alpha arbutin is meant to be the natural alternative to that and this doesn't have that same side effect over time you will get the same effects that you would get immediately with hydro hydroquinone the only thing with hydroquinone is you might get the results a lot quicker than you would with, with would with alpha arbutin so you'd need to use this for longer but in the end you would get um, you basically they would meet at the same point basically um, so over time this would work and what I like to do is mix this with my vitamin 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 C powder the ascorbic acid powder and together that's together that's just the powerhouse or I also mix it with my niacinamide as well again together they work really really well to help boost each other's properties to help brighten skin so um, if you have acne prone skin or hyperpigmentation or just darkening of the skin and you want to brighten your skin over time like I said this will not happen overnight it will happen over you know a good few months or some weeks at least this um, I use on my skin when I have like a freshly not picked scar I shouldn't pick my acne scars but sometimes I do or if I have like a whitehead that I've um um 
extracted and obviously the next day my skin might be slightly bruised on that spot immediately i will go in with r4 albutin um, and i will use it with um, hyaluronic acid and vitamin c mix it together and sometimes i'll also add the ferulic acid as well in there so i have like a really really powerful concoction of antioxidant plus brightening properties and i'll use that on the spot and i find that that really really helps if you go in really quickly so before it turns into a huge scar that you need to start working on you know apply it to your skin within like a day or so you know um of of um bursting a pimple and that stops the acne scar it stops the scar forming and hardening and basically being as bad as it can be um so you don't have to deal with you know the prolonged um after effects of trying to lighten a really dark scar so i absolutely love this stuff and then moving on to one of my um other products that i've experimented with so i so this is the caffeine solution five percent plus egcg again it's good for reducing the appearance of eye contour pigmentation and or puffiness and it's just a good serum for um your under eyes so if you have really dark under eyes this is really a good product to help you lighten that area again it takes a long time to actually see the effects of this and it's not necessarily something i need i think i bought it because it was just something i wanted to try because i wasn't sure if the the dip in my eye was causing a shadow or if I actually had darkness under my eye um, so I've used this and I've used it up but I'm not sure if it actually had an effect on my eye so for that reason I don't think I would use it again if anything you know it definitely um, softened the skin under my eyes and it kept it a bit more conditioned um, but I won't say that it visibly brightened the skin on my eyes but if you have darkness on your eyes or if you've tried it and you like it please let me know how it worked for you and just to let everybody else know if anyone else is reading the comments um just so they can know if it's a good product to pick up but for me it's an okay product but it's not necessarily the right product for me next we have the grand active um retinoid solution in squalane and we have the grand active Gran active retinoid 2% emulsion so um, I'm not sure which one I think I tried the 2% emulsion first I think they work by targeting um, wrinkles on your skin and by also boosting the production of collagen I won't say that I can see any visible effect of these products because again retinol one of those products or retinoids are one of those products that you should use long term um, with the hope of delaying not just with the hope obviously they do work they're proven to work um but with the hope of um delaying skin aging delaying wrinkles deep set wrinkles fine lines things like that so i'm using this to prevent it it doesn't necessarily mean that i have it and in terms of the actual formula itself it's a really good formula it's not too oily and it absorbs really really well but in terms of its efficacy i can't say because obviously i don't have wrinkles but i'm using it to prevent wrinkles if that makes sense so um i do like these two but um, I actually won't be purchasing the, the retinoids, um, Gwen Active Retinoids, because I am currently using the retinol, the 1% retinol, which is the strongest um, retinol um, serum that you can get from the ordinary. And I like this, I think, because this is actually meant to be less irritating than the regular retinol. So if you want to try a retinol or retinoid product, um, you can start with these and see how um, your skin reacts. But these are supposed to be less irritating because it takes less for your skin to convert them into the into the into a form that they can actually be used in so yeah if you want to you know read more into this feel free to do some more research into retinoids but that's i believe i believe that's how they work so um i wouldn't be purchasing these two because i'm using the one percent retinol and my skin is dealing with it very very well in fact it's been wonderful for my skin so i won't be repurchasing these um, I so speaking of retinol so I first started off with the 0.5% retinol in squalane and again I found that this was actually a little bit oily for my skin but it, it eventually um, dissolved into my skin really well um, but in terms of the initial application I found that I had to work it in a bit um, because it was 0.5% um, I won't say that I felt an immediate effect of it so I just kept on using it without necessarily knowing whether or not it was good for my acne because the reason I 
decided to use retinol was because um, it's good. It's supposed to be good for acne prone skin and texture as well. I found that it actually helped me a little bit with the texture on my skin. So I continued using it for that. Even when I didn't feel like it was necessarily helping with my um, acne. It, it wasn't making it worse, but it just wasn't like supercharging. It's, you know, it wasn't making it like as better as quickly as I thought it would so this is this is the retinol 0.5% um, and I wouldn't necessarily purchase this again because like I said I'm using a stronger version which is the 1% and that is doing wonders for my skin I actually feel like I can feel my acne scars lightening and I can feel my skin healing a lot faster with the 1% and my skin can handle it thank goodness because I've heard some horror stories um, about people who've used retinol 1% um, from the ordinary or at least retinol at that at that strength and then in terms of one or two other products so the other products I actually wanted to mention and honorable give an honorable mention to is the 100% plant derived hemisqualane and this stuff is just like it's just so different from anything else I've tried. So basically, this is the cheapest product you can get from The Ordinary. I think I actually got it on offer for about £2.70 or something. They're about under £3. And it is just um, an all-purpose all um kind of oil type of substitute products that you're meant to use on your skin after you use all your water-based serums and it's just a good lighter oil version um, oil um, to seal in moisture in your skin so if you're used to if you're used to using other oils you might want to try this because this is very very light it absorbs into the skin like nothing else and then you can actually use it during the day so I use this one out this first bottle that I have I have another bottle that I'm using right now and I used to use it during the day so after using all my other water-based serums Serums. Um, I'll use this I think after my moisturizer and it just it didn't make my skin any oilier and I have an oily t-zone and you can also use this in your hair as well so I like the fact that it's got like a multi-use purpose to it um, it's not the most hydrating for my hair um, so I feel like I still need to go with something heavier but if you want to use it on your like actual hair rather than your scalp um, if you're Caucasian or Asian this will probably be a nice light oil for you it won't drag your hair down um, yeah it's just a really cool product yeah Squalene is something that your body naturally makes so um, it yeah it won't irritate your skin it won't clog your pores because your body recognizes it, it is very similar to the, to the squalene your body naturally makes so that's why it works so well and um, if you have acne prone skin and you're into your oils but you're scared that oil, oil will clog your pores you can try this because this is a really really good light texture oil that absorbs like nothing like it wasn't even there so it's a really good product and last but not least is one of my favorite like my top three if I had to pick like top four top four top four products and this is the alpha lipoic acid five percent this is a really really concentrated serum and it's um used to brighten skin and target um aging skin signs of aging say like wrinkles fine lines things like that i think when i first discovered alpha, alpha lipoic acid it was like probably two years ago and i think i was reading up about it and it was said to be one of the most powerful antioxidant um, antioxidants out there um, at the time and it's just extremely powerful in terms of its ability to fight free radicals and delay aging it actually works even better when it is ingested so i also take alpha lipoic acid capsules and that actually works well on empty stomach by the way and it just basically helps from within to um, fight free radicals and it's just a really good way to yeah to help delay aging to renew your cells i use this on nights when um, i'm having like a really simple skincare routine set because this product likes to be the star of the show so i would use this after like so say i'll use my essence i'll use uh, my hyaluronic acid serum and then i'll just go in with this and then top it with the moisturizer maybe an oil uh, or maybe a mask and that's about it but when i wake up the next morning my skin is so so soft this stuff works to um, really really help with texture in the skin as well it is such a good product um, it is on par with the retinol i use this on nights when i'm not using retinol and it's just like a one hit one not one hit wonder it is just an all-in-one type of serum and it's extremely powerful like i said it is very concentrated and it works if you have sensitive skin, um, alpha lipoic acid might not necessarily be the best thing for you. When you first try it on, it definitely has this warming effect. I remember the first bottle that I got, um, I remember it having this distinct smell, this not very nice, not very pleasant smell of, I want to say it was like burnt rubber. I don't know what else to call it. And yeah, it was just a very, very, um, yeah, it was a very plasticky, 
I don't know, solvent, I don't know what to call it type of smell. And when I first used it, I think the first few times, it had like a warming effect on my skin. It wasn't burning, but it just felt like my face felt a little bit hot. And I'm pretty sure I read it on the website somewhere that that might happen. So I think by like the third or fourth time, it was fine. I didn't really feel that. And funny enough, when I bought my second bottle, which is what I'm using right now, I didn't smell that. So I don't know if they changed the formula of this or if that was just a different batch. I don't know how they did it. But um, with the second bottle that I'm on right now, it doesn't have that burnt rubber smell. And I feel like it also lasted a long time because of the way you're meant to use it. So with alphabetic alpha lipoic acid you're not supposed to use it every night i think you use it two to three times a week so if you space it out depending on your skincare routine and like i said it's one of those products that likes to be used on its own you don't need to use it with anything else because it's so powerful on its own and you will get great results with it so i feel like because of that it lasts a long time so if there's anything that you want to try and you've got either mature skin or acne prone skin or skin that needs brightening or textured skin um a really good um, economical product for you to use that would save you money would be alpha lipoic acid and it also works when you're not using it because it has a long lasting effect which is why they say you shouldn't use it every night so if you use it today it's still the effect lasts for a day or two afterwards so you can afford to space it out so overall you find that you probably use less of it and it lasts for like six seven months if not longer but yeah so those are all the products that i've used up from the ordinary and they're just amazing every single one of them is amazing and the majority of them i would repurchase the ones i won't repurchase won't be because they're terrible products it's just because i have other things i'm using and yes yeah, so, and they may not necessarily be right for my skin right now so um the ordinary is an amazing brand you just basically blew open the skincare industry in terms of the pricing that they were charging for products that actually works the same way as these affordable products the only con i'd say, definitely say with um the ordinary is that you need to know what you're doing with these products because everything's been broken down into such um like the basic elements so you need to know what everything is supposed to do before you buy it so you know um, if anything you'll probably be forced to do a bit of research or at least talk to the people um the advisors in the store um, before you know what product to get so yeah that's probably the only other thing you need to be a bit more knowledgeable about the products you're using on your skin so if you like this video please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up hit the subscription that hit the subscription bell or hit the subscription button and hit the notification bell if you want to see more from me without missing a beat you definitely want to do that you don't want to miss the next couple of videos i have lined up i think i have two more videos lined up after after this and then i will um get back onto my normal schedule so until next time stay blessed bye